Hey, and welcome back. So I wanna get into grids and spacing. Now, this is very important because it dictates how we space elements out, how we choose like different unit sizes. And what I've done here is I've used the four pixel grid and I'm using multiples of eight. So let's get right into it. So I've created uh, different grids here and we've created them together in the past. And my mobile layout grid is just a regular eight column grid. And let's take a look at what it looks like when we go to edit the styles. So we have an eight count in terms of our columns. And I like using an eight column grid just because on mobile, it gives us a lot of variance in terms of how we like display cards, especially our application. I think it's really card heavy. So we have different variants in terms of like larger cards, cards that bleed off in terms of horizontal fashion. We have cards that stack upon each other. This allows us to do two columns in terms of cards and a column, a larger column, and then something that bleeds off, which you'll see later. This is how I've set it up. Color, I just kind of use the standard color. I have an eight count, type to stretch. Margin is set to 24 pixels. And my gutter is 16. So my margin over here is at 24 pixels, which is another multiple of eight. My gutter is 16, which is another multiple of eight. If we move over, I've created just a baseline grid. If you wanted to use that as well within your projects, you have the option to. This really helps just if you want to space things vertically. You don't have to necessarily use this just within the entire mobile screen. If you have like a, I'll show you how I would apply it sometimes. So if I've created a frame, maybe this is a card. And I go to my layout grid styles, which is right there. I can just apply it to a card and now I have a different way to track my vertical spacing within this card. So there's another one. This is an eight pixel grid. Let me just change the naming to that to eight pixels. So we have our eight pixel grid, which is just a little bit larger. I prefer four pixel grids because you know, there's a lot more variance within that. It gives you a lot more to work with. This is more of a preference thing. So, Still eight pixel grid. We also have the four pixel grid combined with the mobile layout grid that we've created here. And I've done the same thing also for an apex baseline grid. So these are the baseline grids and the layout grids combined. And I'll show you what that looks like. So this is my style. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this little icon here that says edit style. And once I've done that, you can see what I have here. So if I go to edit the properties, you can see those are my rows. My rows is my baseline grid. And I have them set to auto count, type right from the top. I've changed the color just so I have a little bit more hierarchy within here so I can distinguish between both of them. I have a four pixel height. I have zero offset and a four pixel gutter. So. That is how I've set up my spacing for this project. And like I said, this could change if this is a mobile app. And you know, if we were working in a responsive application, we may see many more variations. We may see like a desktop version. We'll probably see a tablet version. We'll probably see even an extra large desktop version. So keep that in mind. Don't just stick to one grid. You're probably gonna have variance if you have a responsive system but this is going to really be what you base everything off of. You have your grid here and your spacing is based off of eight pixels and increments of that. So this is grids and spacing.